Now one of today's projects is Luciano was on his way over here with his R6. We want to install a lowering link. Now one of the adjustments you have on a twin shock bike of course is just to set the spring softer. Usually lowers the bike a little bit. This bike has an air shock so it's very easy to raise or lower the back of the bike and stiffen up the suspension just by putting more air in the shock. Now when I originally got the R6, the R6, the R1, one of the things I realized right away is I wanted it to be a little bit lower. I bought the Pingle lowering link and Billy helped me put it on and from that point on I've been very very happy with the result. And of course every bike every year is just a little bit different so when you buy a lowering link you want to make sure you get the exact one that fits your bike. They're all just a little bit different. On an R1, it's a relatively easy, straightforward job. One of the things that makes it always easier if you have an extra set of hands. That's why Luciano's coming over. Also, we have the option of having the uh, using the electric lift to make the job a little bit easier. So, anything we can do to make these jobs easier, we're going to do it. Now, before I had done the first lowering link on my uh, on my bikes. I had heard that, oh yeah, it could hurt the handling, or it could do this, or it could do that. I have not found that to be true. And there's really nothing more annoying if you're riding than having a tippy toe up to every light. And uh, when you're on a hill, it can just be such a nuisance. The lowering link solves all those problems. And I, I have not found anything. I, it's... <laughs> Maybe somebody that's a much better rider than me would say, oh, it did this or it did that, but it hasn't changed it for me at all. Now, just to be honest, too, I had wished when I originally put the uh, RD to back together from when we got it, I had put longer fork springs in, and I put heavier springs in the back. So what happened is the whole bike gets raised up off the ground, which is a little bit annoying sometimes. But uh, certainly something that pays because nothing ever grounds out on this bike, no matter how hard you ride. So it's a good trade-off. And of course, setting the suspension harder or softer, just like tire pressure, it's a personal choice thing. But the lowering link gives you a lot more choices. And some of the lowering links, like the one I have on the R1, allow you to pick two settings. So as soon as Luciano gets here, and I don't know when that will be, because the traffic to get from his house to my house in the morning <laughs> can be like going to Beirut. Now we're just waiting for Luciano to get here. He's already left the house with the R6. That'll be today's 18 project. Get this lower and link installed. Maybe even get a little test ride. Another satisfied 18 customer. <laughs> Another satisfied customer. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hey! <laughs> Boy, that bike is quiet. I hardly heard you coming. Almost spilt my coffee. I know. I found so much traffic. Unbelievable. Oh, I know. I know. Around the mall in the Bisco. In the Bisco is. Forget it. On 208? Yeah. Oh my god. I could have taken a nap by the time you get here. I knew oh. you were going to take forever. <laughs> so this is even high even when I sit on it. Imagine when Chris sits on it or somebody shorter or Ray is shorter than I am. See? Let's see. You got, it's Pingle, right? No. See? Oh, it's a Chinese ripoff of Pingle. Ching Chung Chung. Ching Chung Chung. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese food and a Pingle. All right. Same thing though. And you got two settings. You know, you could go I go the lowest one. The lowest one, okay. Yeah. Same price. You I could change it very easily. The ground. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing: you could always check when you got the bike. You, uh, we're gonna put pick it up off the ground. This chain looks like it's got a, a bad link in. It's got a kink no, in the link. No, they replace the link because it has a the connecting link. Oh. oh. So it's. Fixed. I had a bad link on a GS chain when I changed it. I got it. Ball, wow. a bad link on my leg. So in this one, you got to take the. You can put the kickstand up, make it easier for yourself. Oh, okay. And we got the electric winch. 
And boy, this thing, this pays for itself in a minute. But it's always good when you do that, use the front stand too. That comes off in two pieces or one? Uh, I don't remember. So many pieces. <laughs> I had I had Chris's apart when she crashed. I know that. That's high enough. Oh yeah. Don't force it. No. Wait, I, and the bottom piece comes off all in one piece, right? Yeah. This is track day body work. So yeah, there you go. All we need is the bottom piece off. Mm -hmm. All I need is a bottom piece, then I can get in there. Hey, you got it loose from that side? Yeah. Okay, see if you can tap the bolt out. But don't push it all the way out, just tap it. Oh, you know what you got here? This already has a lowering link on it. No. You already ha yes, you do. You got an adjustment for a lowering link here. Oh, <laughs> look, you already got... And you're... Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> So in a way, this has two settings, and and it looks like, to be honest, this looks like this is on the high setting. We got it. Yeah. We'll try it both ways since we're such. Oh, can't okay, <laughs> fucking believe it. There's a bracket to lie in the front. Look. Matter back wheel is loose. This piece can come off, but that's that's a bushing in there. So we got to tap that bushing out from Luciano's side before we can pull that bushing. It's got to be tapped out from your side. You had a stock one, just like an R1 has a needle bearing. So, you see there's a needle bearing on one side? So, but the other side is just the bushing here. So, this one is going to be a bushing on both sides. So, we got to put some wheel bearing grease on this. But you got no needle bearing there. Because you're going to have a, a bushing. This bushing is probably going to fit right in there. Lucky guess on my part. Okay, so what we did, we put the part on with without the nuts. So if we can get the, have to get the bushing out again, there's, what we found out, there's two adjustments on this. And we had it on like the drag racing adjustment, it was way too low. This one looks like it's better. You happy with that? Yeah, it's matter of okay. fact, the agar was touching the bottom. Yeah, yeah, the, it's like for drag racing. Maybe yeah. that's why they put the two different things. Okay. Yeah. So now what we do, well, Lou Channel's happy with the height. We're going to uh, raise the bike back up, grease all the parts again, and put the nuts back on with some Loctite. Put the bodywork back on. Take the rubber hammer and beat Luciano like he's a bad <laughs> stepchild. <laughs> so now with the link in place, you can see what what this setting is like a drag race setting. Oh my god, yeah. But I'll bet if we if, if Chris had this link on her bike, she would love it. Chris, I know you don't watch the videos. You're probably watching some something else, but a MotoGP or something. But this is what you need for your bike. You know what? Next time she rides with us, you should just let her sit on this bike. This this makes a bike so much more user friendly. The plastic? Yeah. Oh well. It's down at the bottom. Nobody's gonna see it. Yeah, Anyway, with the lower link, the bike's definitely gonna be a lot more uh, a lot more fun to ride. And it, basically, a, the Pingle is the same one I have on this bike. Looking at this one, I know every one of the lower links for these bikes are different. But they all come with instructions, and it really isn't a big deal, even if you don't have the lift to do this. But it's a real big deal if you have a second guy to help you. And that's why the A team is so, <laughs> so much fun. Ah, he's still alive. I went and had a cup of coffee, had a bagel, and he's still working on putting the bodywork back on. I can't get up. <laughs> you want me? You want me to call for the ambulance or what? What's going on here? My back is killing me. I can't get up. Holy mackerel. Okay, I got it. Luckily, Luciano has a uh, an adjustable kickstand because it looks like now with the bike lower, of course, it stands it stands too too uh, hot, tall. It's Probably better to do it out on the concrete. Oh, okay. Because you got the rug here. See, we work on on rugs, oil-soaked rugs. We're at the Yamaha MotoGP here. Now you can now you can see how much it's leaning. Yeah, you gotta put that up one notch, you think? Yeah, one notch. One notch. Fine. Yeah. Okay, let me hold the bike while you do it. So Luciano has this cool kickstand that has all these adjustments. The only problem is we need one more adjustment. So rather than thread it. And, uh, and drill it, which I think is like a bullshit way of doing it. We could just, he has this extra piece on. I'm just going to heat it with a heat gun. 
it's JB Weld. The heat gun will pop it right off. Put it in a vise and that's it. So whenever you have JB Weld and you want to get it off, this is going to hurt the paint a little bit, but the heat gun will warm it somewhere around 165, 175 degrees. It's going to get soft and that should just come off without any adventure. And you can see how nice and neat it comes off. Didn't even really kill the paint. If you use a torch, that would have really killed the paint. But that's ready now, that, and that's let's hope that's going to give him the angle that he wants. Now, as sometimes happen, it's taken us longer to get this kickstand right than it is did to put the link in. Anyway, but we got to because he wants to use one of these holes further down, and because we're missing this piece, I'm just going to take the cutoff wheel and cut that right there. That'll that'll allow this to go further up into the adjustable kickstand. And then you can use one more of these holes. Boy, there's a tool you get your money's worth out of every time you work on a bike. Okay, so that's ready. I'm going to grind this, smooth it up a little. Luchan will be very impressed. So it's leaning the right angle. That couldn't be any better. Okay, I'm ashes for the work. Uh, it's a nice warm day, so why don't you write me a check on a ice, and uh, we'll put it out in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> And Luciano is one of the banner members of the A-Team, boy. When you need somebody who, uh, <laughs> you want to have a great adventure, we have adventures. Anyway, it looks like it's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. You'll know after you ride it, but uh, believe me, nothing changes. It, the, these people would say, oh, the handle, oh, it's oh, much better. I can touch, they, my, I can they, touch yes, the ground. Yes, of course. Yeah. And Chris, you're the next one. We're going to, we'll give you the same price we got Luciano. Yeah. Where did you get that? Off of uh, yeah. eBay? What else? Well, what, what a stupid <laughs> thing to ask. <laughs> what a silly, where do the fish swim? In the water. So one thing for sure, this is this is similar to the paint job that over the winter we're going to put on. We're going to try to get a set of body work for the FZR so we can have like Evil Twins number two next year. And at the end of it we'll still have the Ferrari body work and we'll have uh, the Yamaha body work. Well, we'll see. It's next year's project. So as they say, another 18 day in the bank or in the tank, no matter how you look at it. Yeah, we had a, we had quite an adventure, but really, to put the lower link on is really not a big deal. But it is, it is really makes it a lot easier when you have a second guy, and if you have a guy like Luciano that uh, lays on the floor all day, <laughs> well, we still get the job done. Yeah, it looks, a, it looks a lot more comfortable. Boy, there is nothing more annoying to me than a bike that isn't comfortable. Whether the handlebars are too low, the seat is too hard. And for us, it's time to go get the baby. Almost time, anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.